Darren, in a game in the second half that could have gone either way, really, do you feel happy to come away from here with a point? Um, I suppose you can look at it that way. Um, but I'm going to look at it positively and go, you know, the way we started the game, that's three games on the bounce now, we've started really positively. What is a little concern is we keep having spells of maybe 10, 15 minutes where we look a bit nervy with the ball, look a little bit on edge. Um, and it takes, it, it takes not just one of them, but all of us to have a look around and calm everyone down and just get our game going again. Because I thought we started the game really well, really, really well. Um, but as I've said, probably on too many occasions this season, that I felt that you know when we're having them moments when we're on top, um, we need to make one nil, two nil to give us that extra cushion, which we didn't do. Um, we didn't deal with uh, throwing and a set piece very well. And when we when we cleared our lines from it, we cleared it back to the thrower, which is which is not ideal. And then and then we've conceded with not winning the header that's put when the ball gets put back in the box. Um, and again, although they had a spell for 15, 20 minutes at the start of the second half where they, between the boxes, they were on top. And other than the one that's come off the post, I don't remember them causing us too many problems, but the mood in the ground would suggest that they were on top. And then, you know, we've, we've, we, we've changed our shape and people will say, and I've just had this conversation with the boys, that a change of shape contributes to us getting ourselves back in the game. I, I, I don't always buy into that personally because what now all of a sudden we're in a different shape, you can pass the ball better. That's not for me, that. Um, but there's no getting away that we got ourselves back in the game and, and we could have quite easily gone on and won it ourselves. But I suppose on the balance of play, point eight too bad um, away from home. Um, but we want wins. From where we were sitting, it looked like your substitutions really made that impact to get us back onto the front for it. You, are you happy with how the likes of Tonda Walker and Mason Clark affected the game when they come on? Yeah, and that's where it's that's where it's good for us. You know, I had some good players sitting in the stand. I had some good players um, on the bench, and, and and I've got good choices. And everyone's got to play their part. And I've, I've had three players come on and impact the game today. Nearly impacted it to the point where we get three points and a win but they've certainly come on and contributed to the change of flow in the game um, in particular Efron I thought you know he's looking looking exciting and fresh and lively again so really pleased to have Efron back back in the, in the ranks and available and he's edging closer to a start at the minute he's probably better from the bench you know with 25 30 minutes um, but if he keeps performing and contributing the way he has done in the last two games He'll be in back. Uh, he'll be back in the team quicker than probably anticipates. And ultimately, it's a positive performance to start a really important week where we've got two further away games. Really tough places to go as well. Listen, we've travelled up to Stockport this morning, which is not round the corner, um, and we've started the game well. And, and, and we're taking a point home with us that you know we wanted three, and we got two more journeys on the road. We'll, we'll go Woking on Tuesday and then we travel to Yeovil on the Saturday. You know, tough games, but what we need to do, we've shown good resilience today in, a, in, in, a, in moments where we were on the back foot. We've shown good resilience to stay in the game and very nearly gone on and won it. And in terms of an away performance, you can be relatively satisfied with that. But because we all demand so much more from each other, we're all disappointed in there that we haven't capitalised on being 1-0 up and, and we're taking three points home. But start of a tough week for us. Um, we've got to back up what we've done today and hopefully go and get the win on Tuesday. But the league table looks how it does. A couple of results have gone our way, so we're still in, a, in an encouraging position. But we need to turn some draws into wins, no doubt. And the supporters have come out in their numbers today. I think there's roughly 200 in that away in today, and that's brilliant to come up a long way and make their voices heard. No, and I'm 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 always grateful. That's that's terrific support. That I'm really pleased that they've come out in their numbers, um, and you know they were clapping us at the end. So let's let's hope they go home pleased and still encouraged by what we're trying to do, um, and they get my thanks as always because to bring 200 this far up the road is really pleasing. So thank you.